says the, 658 and another one that says 150. <laughs> well, the computer um, hit seven before my phone. Yeah, but we are, we are here. We are here. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I think we have the format down tonight. Well, do we? <laughs> we don't know who's doing uh, We about to so find first. out. It almost doesn't matter at this point. Right. Who's on first? Who's on second? <laughs> I don't know. Whoever talks <laughs> speaks up first. So. Uh, uh, oh, God. I'll just nominate uh, Andrea when she comes back. How about that? Exactly. See, she's the missing one. She's the missing link right now. <laughs> yes. We voted. So she gets to start. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a tie. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Once you have a good show about love and laughter, I'm just uh, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Need yeah. to laugh. Yep, I did find the one thing I'm going to share. I'll just oh, good. jump good, into good, 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 good. whatever you guys are talking about. So okay, okay. Yep, it's my go-to every time I feel the need to laugh. So I think really? you'll enjoy it. Yes, I've got a go-to when I need to laugh too. Well. I want to ask you why, because I'm, or what, because I'm nosy, but I guess we'll have to wait till the show starts, huh? An episode of Martin. Oh, really? <laughs> when I really want to laugh, it's an episode of Martin. Uh, so I hear you, you have your own soundtrack tonight, huh? Yes. Your um, laugh track. Uh, Vinaya, Vinaya, is going, Vinaya, my daughter, Vinaya, is going to join us a little bit um, to, to talk about my funny story. So. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, good. It's going to be hilarious. Good. Awesome. All right. Everybody. Are we going to go ahead and start the open and everything? Yep, we're ready. Let's go. All right. Roll up. I know what makes you guys laugh. Sunday nights before authors up, whenever I get on there. Roll them. <laughs> you guys have a great show. I'll be here. Thank, Thank you, Alan. <laughs> Okay, so I guess Andrea <laughs> isn't starting since she isn't back yet, but that's okay. Yes. We can, you know, we can handle it. We're we're yes. we're adults here. So, all right. So we are happy to be here tonight. Welcome everybody. Welcome. 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 Facebook, SIBN, everyone, anyone who is listening, we welcome uh -huh. you to our show. Authors yeah. up. You feature first time and established writers. We want you to share your books. Um, okay, so I am rusty at that. Victoria, help me. <laughs> That's okay. We welcome you and thank you for joining us tonight. Um, Andrea will be back in just a moment. Ooh, thank you. Okay, we were, we were flubbing <laughs> our way through this. So, and we were just welcoming everyone in podcast land, everybody who watches on Facebook. SIBN, all that good stuff. And how are you ladies doing tonight? Welcome. It's good to see you. Good to be seen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Ruth, how are you doing? I'm doing well now. Yes. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> I am awesome. Awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She told she's feeling so good. She going to sing. Okay. okay. Oh, no. Wait. We're no. going to do that. <laughs> I know you, you did that just because tonight is going to be talking about laughter. <laughs> you just you want an opportunity to laugh at me. Is that what's happening? That was, Come on, sing a laugh sing with you. How about that? Come on, think of it. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll save my I'll save my solo for later. <laughs> okay, 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 darling. <laughs> have you have you all done your weekend review? No, we we are about to do that. Okay, all righty. Well, who was gonna go first? I know it wasn't me. So <laughs> oh, we voted while you were gone. Oh, we voted, and, and we were. Uh, it was a tie vote that you start. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, hey everybody. <laughs> Good evening from Authors Up. Uh, we are glad to uh, have you in the house tonight. Hey, Paula, Obi is there. I don't know whether you greeted some of the folk that were there or not, but and uh, then no. is, is here and on the line and Alan's going to put up any countries that that, that drop in uh, to see us tonight. We have an interesting topic tonight, and we're going to talk about life on the lighter side. And as you can tell, we have already begun. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this laughter is good medicine, and we are not in short supply of laughing, particularly at each other. So right. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to start, though, by talking about the Week in Review. And actually... I had just one thing that I wanted to mention because ev everybody knows by now that my week is still filled with preparation for uh, Saturday. And uh, by next Sunday, I will be able to say, oh, it was wonderful. And thank you all for coming. Um, all right. All right. <laughs> reading Women's Glory is going to be on Saturday and preparation is still in process for getting all of that together. But yesterday... I took a trip to Biltmore, the Biltmore Estates, and it was absolutely amazing. I had been before, but this time I think I paid attention yeah. uh, <laughs> because there's so always much. <laughs> I said that always helps. Yes, it does. It does. I, I was so, um, last time I went, it was Christmas time. And it was just so beautifully decorated and, and all of that. And I tried to go through the entire house as much as I could um, just to see the rooms. And, and it, it's difficult for me to imagine um, people living that way, you know, with a right. library with 23,000 books. And the fact that they said, I think he purchased 125,000 acres of wow. land that when he bought it, did not have a tree on it. Can you oh, wow. That? that everything that's there was planted, that they planted wow. trees and all those gardens and all of those things. And so much of what is in that house, because it is a foundation of steel and concrete, and so much of what is in that house was there when they built it all those years ago. So we were on the elevator, which only takes two people at a time and goes like. Oh, my God. <laughs> but oh, my goodness. The original elevator. Elevator. Okay. The original mechanisms. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? So I can't believe you got on that. Well, I was already on it when she started telling the story. <laughs> that makes a difference. So, with nowhere to go once the door was closed. I know. <laughs> but it was just, it was, it was a wonderful trip, and and God was so gracious because they had predicted nothing but rain and all these storms and all of that. We left; it wasn't raining. It rained when we were on the road. By the time we got to Asheville, it wasn't raining at all. And by the time we got there, the sun was out, and it was it's a good trip and a good ride. So we had a good time. So that's that's my, my weekend review. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Well, good. Since you all voted, who did you all vote would be next? <laughs> You know what? We didn't do that vote. Yeah, we did. I, 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 I see that it's just um, work, 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 work. Um, work. during the week, but um, yesterday I worked an event um for my jewelry business, and um that went okay. It went all right. I was there a good portion of yesterday, and we did get the storms. It was it was terrible, and I think that helped. Um. It, the people didn't come. It was uh, for the Rota Generation, which is a wonderful organization 
that mentors young women. And so I didn't feel bad. You know, there was an investment to, to be a vendor, but it was for a good cause. And um, Rhoda Generation is definitely a good cause because the younger ladies were there volunteering. They helped us get our stuff from the car. They were doing their community service hours. So it was it was really fulfilling. And then I saw a lot of friends from church. So we just had a good time laughing and joking all day long. So it was really nice. It, I had a good time. Then I left there and went to a gender reveal for uh, my niece is having a baby and um, it's her second baby. And she had a boy, has a boy already. And her um, boyfriend has two boys. And so we all wanted a girl, but it's a boy. Uh, <laughs> and that was nice. It was really good to see some of my, my nieces and my grand nieces and nephews and um, got another one coming. I was able to hold my other niece had a baby uh, in February. I hadn't seen a baby yet. So uh, I uh, just to hold the baby. It was just it was so fulfilling. So be oh, just to know, look at these babies that I diapered uh, and now they have babies. And I am the older aunt. I am the oldest family member here in Durham. And so it was, Auntie, let me get you your plate, Auntie. And I was like, ah, when did this happen? <laughs> but it was just, it was so nice. So that was my weekend review. Just that feeling of love. And then the end, the weekend with the church services today. It was just, just been an awesome weekend. And I am feeling happy and ready to laugh. All right. All right. And Miss Ruth. What about you? What's your weekend review been up to? Uh, well, last like last week, I spent this week traveling as well. So if you need to see more of North Carolina, which, you know, I realize it looks a lot the same. Doesn't matter where you're going, <laughs> east, west, or north, south. It just there's a lot of North Carolina that just looks the same. So <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's beautiful state, but it's just like, okay, I thought I saw that back there. Okay. I saw that two hours ago. Like, okay, cool. All right. So, <laughs> you, you know, you put on the radio, you put on your playlist, you put on the audio books, which thankfully I, I was able to, I had enough to finish to get me home and, you know, be ready for book club this week. But I, I, I like the idea of traveling, but so much in such a small span, it's close. it makes you appreciate coming home and lying down in your own bed and going, this is good. It, <laughs> I'm not in a hotel room that smells like soap, which is probably right. a good thing. Um, right. So it, 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 it was good. It was good. So, but to what you were saying, Victoria, it reminded me, I was talking to my sister and I have um, several siblings we have about 16 kids between us. Okay. And my younger sister let us know that her oldest daughter is pregnant. So I'm going to be a um, great aunt. Great aunt. By All the right. end of the year. All so, right. yeah. So she was, um, even though my niece is married, she was, my sister was not as happy because her thing was, I wanted to wait until I was 50 to be a grandmother. I'm like, you're 46, you're fine. <laughs> Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Close enough. So yeah, she also has like seven-year-old twins. So maybe in her mind, she's just like, it, it, it's- Are they different. girls or boys? One boy, one girl. One boy, oh, wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, okay. good news. So I'll let so you know. You it is the right. family is expanding. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so tonight, that was my week. Okay. I didn't mean to cut you off, Ruth. Mm -mm. You're good. Good. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Um, you know, the word says a cheerful heart is good medicine. And tonight we want to talk a little bit about that cheerful heart. Hey Lynn, good to have you tonight. Glad you joined us. We're going to talk about that. We need life on the lighter side sometimes. Yep. It can get just heavy duty. If you listen to the news at all, it's just it just seems like one random act after another random act. And, and just people are not in good spaces and sickness is doing what it does. And, and sometimes you need to take a breath and within that breath when you exhale you need to be laughing when you do 
Mm-hmm. You just got to sometimes find some things that bring you joy and just make you make you laugh. And before we had it on the air, I was asking Ruth and Victoria, when was the last time? And if you, if anybody out there who wants to respond in the comments section, you can feel free to do that. Um, but I was asking them, when was the last time you laughed? I mean, really, really laughed. Good evening, St. Thomas. Glad to have you in the house. Good tonight. evening. Yes, yes. When is the last time you laughed? And do you remember why you laughed? I mean, just a, you know, turn over tears running down your face laugh. <laughs> just a laugh. And Vic- Victoria had had one immediately. Actually, she had two. And and Paula or Linda or Lynn, and if you want to write something in the comment section, feel free. Come on. <laughs> but uh, she's got her daughter with her, I think. Vinaya? Is that is Vinaya with you? Is, is it Vinaya? <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to start by saying it's called, we call the story the Great Cookout. <laughs> you were how old? Maybe about seven, eight, seven, seven nine, nine, eight, nine, nine or ten. Nine. Yeah. And um, my husband is, well, I, I won't even say his name. I won't say his name, so he'll be mad. But we, we, we decided we wanted to cook out. You love laughter, you get ready to get ready. So we decided we was going to cook out. So went to the store. We got everything we needed. Good evening, Lori. How you doing? Came out in, in on time for this story, too. So look, Vinay is already laughing, right? So we got everything we needed. You know, we got the hamburger, hot dogs, all the sides, you know, coleslaw, potato salad, potato chips, anything anybody wanted, we got for the cookout. So I made the um patties. And um, I prepared the pranks, and my husband was doing the grill. You know, he was like, oh, he had a little grill in the back. So we, I'm in there getting ready, getting ready, and I, it's just going, it's going, going. So <laughs> if Renee can stop laughing, I'll let you tell this part. Okay. Um, so he decided that he was going to be on the grill, and he was so confident that day. Mommy had got him, like, a new apron and everything. And so he went out to grill. We're waiting. It's like 20 minutes. Nothing's come back. We're waiting another 20 minutes. Nothing's come back. We all go outside as a collective. We find out that our dad has burnt everything from top to no, bottom. I, that's not when I found out. That's not when I found out. What? I found out when the plate of hamburgers came back. <laughs> when they came back. When they came back. <laughs> I looked at the hamburgers. What did I say? <laughs> you don't need to grill no more, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and I said, what are we supposed to eat? <laughs> yeah, we don't know exactly what we're supposed to eat at all at that point. The hamburgers, and I had made nice patties, right? The hamburgers were about that small. Charcoal hockey pucks. <laughs> <laughs> But when you broke it open, it was just as pink as Ruth's cheeks. Oh, God. (laughs) We couldn't even eat them. We were like, what what in the world is this? (laughs) And his face, y'all. His face. <laughs> you heard him he the only one that ate it because he made it, but you, we literally couldn't even bite it. We was like, I was so y'all, I was so he mad. Messed up. He <laughs> messed up big time. <laughs> you know when you have your mouth set for something, and I wanted, and I we grilled because I wanted to grill. I was like, oh, I hadn't had a grilled um, hamburger in a long time. And I still didn't have it that night. <laughs> so whenever we we say the cookout. We just start laughing. The great, the great cookout. The great cookout that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, them hamburgers was tore up, y'all. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. Y'all tell a story now. <laughs> I have 
have a I have a I have a card story I can share. Uh, my dad, I was daddy's girl. Loved my father. Loved my father, but he did not. He didn't necessarily read well. He was a, a business businessman. Owned his own business for almost thirty years, um, but he didn't. He didn't read well, and he didn't read out loud well. But this this was probably he had to either been his fa uh, been Father's Day or his birthday, and we gave him a card, and he opened that card and. You know, little tears began to form in the corner of his eye, and he was reading the card and read, read the card and read the card and got down to the bottom of the card. And he said, "Oxa, oxa, oxa," and Lynn and I were like, "Oxa, oxa, oxa. What is it? X's and O's." We said. <laughs> He said, no, no, that, that, that means hugs and kisses. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh at your daddy. <laughs> You're laughing with himself. Andrea. That's all it is. You're laughing with <laughs> Andrea. He laughed at himself <laughs> when we funny. told him what it was. <laughs> But he was so sincere when he said it. Hoxa, hoxa, hoxa. So, <laughs> he was pronouncing the syllables. That's, that's, what, you know. <laughs> that's your, you like your one word, barbecue. We just oh, look at it and go, oxa, oxa, oxa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about you, Ruth? You got a story? Um, you know, honestly, when we started talking about this, I, I was like, I, I got this, you know, I have had three kids. I've had, you know, my husband loves to laugh all the time. And then my mind went completely blank. <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute. I've spent most, I've spent half of my life laughing and I have no recollection of any particular story. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna share something that always makes me laugh. So, um, I was, uh, I was thinking back because one of the things, you know, having, you know, dealt with depression in the past, one of the things they tell you, you know, when you get in the mood, you know, look for something that will make you laugh. You know, whether it is a show or meme or something. And I have, um, I use Pinterest primarily for that reason, just, okay. you know, images that I like and, you know, save stuff that I can go back and look at later. And there is one particular meme that I saved years ago. And it's just anytime I need a good laugh, this is the one I go to. So it is a, uh, a post, somebody posted this on Twitter, I believe. And um, it reads, I left the toilet seat up yesterday and at 2 a.m. this morning, it finally happened. To all the women in my life, it's written by a guy, past and present, I apologize, especially my grandma. I get it now. And then his hashtags read, my knees hit my chest, hashtag folded up like a long chair, hashtag scariest, scariest moment of 2016, hashtag I knocked everything off every counter on my way down, hashtag all my life I had to fight, Hashtag so, so cold. Hashtag for some reason I yelled who is in there as I was falling. Hashtag thought I was being attacked. Hashtag I was still asleep. Hashtag survivor. <laughs> so that's my go-to anytime I need to laugh. <laughs> That's why all my life I had to fight just to be <laughs> survivor. That's is that from the color purple. All my life I had to fight our bro. <laughs> I can imagine him. He fell into the seat, you know, with the seat up. And you sit in that toilet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, my goodness. Have you ever done anything 
embarrassing. I have I have done some embarrassing things that have made me <laughs> made me laugh. <laughs> Not that they were particularly funny, but I was sorry when I did. No. <laughs> you don't have anything else I can tell you. Go ahead. But you you got to promise not to think bad of me. <laughs> when okay. I, when I tell you what I did. Okay. Thing one I had to do oh. with work. I was uh, a, a, an administrative secretary at IBM <clears throat> and my my bay mate, I guess you would call her the secretary that covered me and sat next to me, was uh, blind. She didn't have sight. And we had long conversations about it, you know, and I would ask her, I asked her one time, did she ever, was she ever able to see? I said, I'm asking because if I described something to you, like if I told you something was cloud blue, or, or sky blue, or if I said something was army green or something like that, would you know, you know, the colors that I was talking about? And she said, yes, she would, because she was not born blind. She had lost her sight over time. Um, she was incredible. She was incredible. And I used to tell people, Kathy is not handicapped. Kathy just can't see. Mm -hmm. Kathy's bowling average was higher than mine. Oh, she wow. would go cross country skiing. She had fixed Thanksgiving dinner uh, for like thirty people or something like that. I mean, Kathy, that she did her thing. She did her thing. So I came in one morning, and and I came in, and the office was just dark. And I got in, and she was there, and she spoke and everything. And I said, "What in the world are you sitting in here in the dark for?" She said, "Cause I'm <laughs> blind." <laughs> I thought, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and she and I both, she just fell out laughing. I mean, she was not, she was not offended at all. But it, it just came right out, right? It just slipped right out. Just because right out. I, I didn't see her that way. I didn't, I didn't even consider. You know, because like I said, she she was in the same role I was in. She's the same kind of job that I had. And, wow. and I just turned that corner and I thought, what? Why are you sitting in here in the dark? What in the world? What is wrong? She didn't even know it was dark. She said, because I'm blind. You know, like, <laughs> how would I know it's dark? <laughs> we don't think bad of you. We don't think bad. Oh, no, you, you just forgot for a moment. Look, you know what? Honestly, we put we would have made that same mistake too. <laughs> but I, I know was I would. So, I was so glad that that she was not offended. I mean, she was uh -huh. not offended one bit, and we laughed about it and laughed about it. And one of her, one of her <laughs> managers, whenever he would talk to her, he would talk so loud. <laughs> and he would come over. Good really? morning, Kathy. She said, but she was blind, not deaf. And that's what she told him one day. Don, I am blind. I am not deaf. Quit screaming at me. What <laughs> 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 a mercy! And he just went, oh, 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 okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know, say, I'm gonna go on with my next story. My story. <laughs> you know, we talk. We wanted to talk about and 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 let you know that you know sometimes you can laugh yourself through your problems. You know, yeah. and um, laughter really helps to get that emotion out. Well, I'm gonna tell you my um, math story with my best friend here. Her name is Begala. It's a great math story. Okay, we were both taking math. We were in college. We was you know we was working full time, but still um, going to Central. Um, she was getting her uh, degree in public relations, uh, no, public, yeah, public relations, and I was doing psychology, but we had to take math, and we had put off math as long as we could because, you know, that calculus is just terrible. So we both took the same class, but, you know, we had our final test, and we, we had to pass in order to pass the class, and so we figured we were going to help each other, mm. and um, 
we had uh, booked the conference room. And so we went to the conference room and we had all our papers spread out. We had it, you know, because we, we knew the problems they were going to ask. So when we had certain ones, we worked it out together. We followed the examples and whatever she had, I helped her with hers. She helped her with mine. And we went step by step through the problems. We, you know, I mean, when I, y'all, when I tell y'all we were working that thing out, we was working it out. And I mean, that conference table was full of papers. And well, we, we, we said, okay, we think we did pretty good. Let's hit the button to submit. So we hit the button to submit. And we both got a 65. <laughs> we failed. We were like, what in the world? I can't, what? I said, Begetta. She said, Victoria. What? We failed the class. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I was just like, all of a sudden, she took her arm and she went from the beginning of the conference table to the end of the conference table and swept all them papers on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and I bust out laughing and she looked at me laughing and we laughed so hard we was on the floor a lot and just, I mean tears <laughs> I mean every last thing was on the floor and we just bust out laughing it was hilarious because we really had done so much to work it out and we failed <laughs> We we had to laugh to not just keep from crying because we had to repeat the class. Oh, <laughs> we laugh about that all the time. I said, "What made you sweep the papers?" On she said, "I was so sick of all the papers." <laughs> <laughs> so that's my great math story. But sometimes, see if you be cheating to see what happens. <laughs> What's that cheating? You're just receiving assistance. <laughs> okay, all right, I like oh, that. Re mm -hmm. Receiving a little assistance. Yes, mm -hmm. well, I, well, well, okay, we just helped each other out a little bit, receiving assistance. It's not that we had the answers, like we weren't giving each other answers. We were really working out the problems. But to do all that we did and fail, it, it just hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we laugh to keep from crying. So that Who's was bad. <laughs> a movie. Either of you seen a movie that just made you just fall over laughing? Um, for me, actually, for my household, we we stop at this movie every time. The other guys with oh. <laughs> uh, Mark Wahlberg and um, I, can't I haven't seen that. Oh my gosh, you are in. Let me write down the other guy. Yeah. Yeah, the other guys. Yeah. Just, I mean, from start to finish, it is just, it has moments in there that are just funny. They don't make sense. They do make sense. It just, um, what is, what, Will, what is his oh. name? He was an elf. Yeah. Um, anyway. I don't think it's, what's the first name in Will? I know who you're talking about, though. I yeah. know the so I it. would that that is one movie every time it is on it doesn't matter that we've seen it about 400 times we will watch that movie um <laughs> it's just it's great so if you haven't seen it you should definitely see it for me it's hangover hangover is the hangover movies all it's of them movie. have you seen all of them yes I have <laughs> seen all of them I just think the one the one scene that had me really laughing was um there's several of them but when that monkey, uh, when the, uh, what's his name, jumped out the trunk and see when he jumps out the trunk, Lord have mercy. And then when they they singing and he's singing this little guitar song, Doug, 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 Doug. And, and all the stuff that happens to them in in the course of the of a couple of days just to get to this wedding, it's just hilarious to me. You want to laugh? But you know, you know what? My go-to laugh it if I really want to laugh at something, I'm like Ruth with that that meme. I'm with Martin, the episode of Martin when they went to Chilligan's Island. And Martin and Gina was fighting the monster, the, what my, uh, Martin thought was a puppy. I will laugh and be in tears like I never saw it before. Every time I watch that, it is hilarious <laughs> to me. And it's a fake thing. And how they are acting like they're fighting this fake monkey. And they, I mean, little, little possum or whatever it is. And they're going back and they're. <laughs> 
it's it's just hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. So if y'all y'all want something good to laugh at, that'll kill do it. it. That'll do it. And and Ruth, the actor's name is Will Ferrell. Ferrell, yes. Will yes. Ferrell. Will yep. Ferrell. Mine is, and there there are a lot of movies that make me laugh, but this one in particular, I went to see with my girlfriend, <clears throat> and it's True Lies. I yeah. love that movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm -hmm. And yes. there's a scene in there where she is supposed to be so sexy, and she's, yes. she's going to do she's gonna, awkward this, this whole thing. Tell her, move to the left. <laughs> she, she swings around that pole and misses it. Misses it. <laughs> she comes right back up. <laughs> yes, that is Let me tell you, for the rest of the movie, we could not say anything <laughs> to each other because I'd lean over to her and get ready to say something and I'd go, and just bust out laughing. I mean, I could not, I could not hold it together after that. And she did the same thing. We would do that is funny. And just fall out. Even now, even now, if I see that that movie's on, I'll Thank go you. to it and fast forward. <laughs> so, just so that I can see Jamie Lee. That part. That, that, is, part. that is very funny. <laughs> All right, so I have a story on that one. So um, just, it reminded me of a story. So uh, we went to visit family down south when my kids were younger, right? So um, you guys know my oldest daughter. She always had, I mean, she just would say the most inappropriate things at the most inappropriate times. So <laughs> we're sitting there and she had to be about eight or nine at the time. And we're walking through a parking lot. I don't remember where we were going. It might've been a restaurant or something. And she, you know, they're like poles in the parking lot. And she goes to one kind of twirls around. And then she looks at me and my husband and, you know, we have, you know, cousins and family there. And she looks at us and she deadpan says, oh, I'm not supposed to dance on those. <laughs> <laughs> Kids will take you there. Yeah, they will. <laughs> They'll get and then back again. And they take you there. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There there are so there are so many things uh that can give you life on the lighter side. Um <laughs> Whenever I hear a baby laugh, oh yeah, yes. babies get tickled, and they just—I mean, it is just something that is infectious about a baby's laugh. Yes. Or when babies decide that they're going to have a conversation. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you know, and they're just like, oh my God, you know. <laughs> You talk back, they'll say something back, and you think, what is going through their little heads, you know, when they're doing this? So you you have those moments. You have the inappropriate moments. Uh, yes. You have the moments where you think you're you're not trying to be funny at all, but you step over into that vein, yeah. and and you just want to, you know, put your head in the sand. <laughs> like an ostrich because you say, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I said that. I was I was on a, a date one time 125 years ago. It's tough. And I uh <laughs> I had I had a dinner ring that I put on this finger mm -hmm. and I forgot it was there. And my nose began to itch. Oh. I took my hand and I and I thought, oh, oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I had torn my nose off my face. <laughs> Did it, it bleed? Hurt, it hurt so bad. <laughs> and tears started coming out. <laughs> and the young man gently patted me and said, Are you okay? And I said, it's a smoke. It's a 
Oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. The smoke got in my eye. <laughs> That's the only thing I could do. I was so embarrassed and I hurt so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm torn my nose apart. <laughs> wait, wait, I got one. I got a date story. I got a date story. I got a date story. Okay, okay. I, I had went out on this date with a young man. My sister still watches, she know Maurice. We I went out to a date with my friend Maurice. And we had just started to get to know each other. And um, we went to eat some pizza and we got extra cheese on the pizza. So I took a bite of the pizza and was chewing it. And a wad of cheese about this circle around got stuck in my throat. Uh oh. And so I'm going. Because <laughs> I didn't want him to know that, you know, I got the cheese stuck. <clears throat> but I kept going. <laughs> and he said, You're right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you came around there and he was like cheese came out. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> not my finest moment. Yes, 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 yes. I understand. I but understand. he stayed with me anyway for a very long time. Oh. <laughs> we well, would laugh about it. We would laugh about it. He was like, why did you say something in the beginning? I was like, I was trying to be this is our first day. <laughs> Well, he saved my life on my first first day. <laughs> oh, y'all out there, don't do that. Don't do that. If you choking, you better say something quick. Say something, say something to somebody. Oh. You're right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I tell you what, ladies, you know, when we when we start these things and Victoria said, well, it won't be a problem. <laughs> She's absolutely right. Yep. <laughs> said, I can't think of a thing, but oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's what we have to remember. We have to remember that everything is not going to pull you down. Everything is not going to meant, meant to make you not going to meant. Everything is not meant uh, to make you spiral and be at a place where you are sad all the time or, or you want to quit or you think you can't do it or you can't make it. There are moments. God does provide us with moments of life on the lighter side. And yeah. we can laugh. The best thing that you can do is be able to laugh at yourself. Exactly. And that everything is just not that deep. I, when I began to, to, to get older uh, as I going through my life's journey, that's, that's one thing that I have learned. If I have learned nothing else, it's just not that deep. It's right. not that deep. We have things that happen to us in our lives that are heavy, that are weighty. There's sickness, there's uh, disease. There's there's a lot. There's a lot. There's pain. There's loss. There are many, many things that we cannot do anything about. But somewhere in the midst of all of that, God provides us these little moments and these little snippets of memories and these little things that will keep us in a place where our endorphins are on fleek. You know, things we are high. Our faith is where it needs to be. And we are able to do exactly what we did tonight, which was laugh, laugh at ourselves. Think about the things that have made us laugh 
and let you know that you know throughout this life's journey you're gonna you're going to have some things that appear to be tragedies that really are not you're gonna have some unexpected things that you think you can't get over but you really can and in the mix and in between all of that is woven spaces for laughter and spaces for joy and spaces where you can just be able to say, you know what, it's it's all good. It's all good. It's all turning out for my good. And uh, we just wanted to be able to share that with you tonight. Take a little time and laugh, laugh at ourselves and hopefully uh, allow you to laugh at us because we don't mind. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, we do not mind. <laughs> And 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 God just has a way. He has a way of uh, decreasing our stress and decreasing our pain and decreasing yep. all of those things and uh, allowing us to rebuild in spaces of joy and peace and all that good stuff. And laughter does that for us. So that's that's my closing comment for the night. Victoria, do you have a closing comment for tonight? Well, you say what I was going to say, you know, learn to laugh at yourself. And, um, you know, it's not, laughter has gotten me through some some things. And and then, we, you know, you look back on some things and you say it really wasn't that deep. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. It really is okay to laugh at yourself and laugh through situations. And, you know, I've, I've used laughter many times just to keep from crying. It, 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 and, and it works for me. Yes. It may not work for everybody, but um, mm -hmm. I just hope that this week, makes you laugh at something so hard the cheeks hurt that's my that's wish it. that's it how about you Ruth? well i was just gonna add i mean if your mind goes blank like mine there's plenty of stuff on the internet to laugh about you know there are friends to laugh at there are situations <laughs> shows books whatever there's plenty to laugh at so life is you know, like you said, it can be bleak, but it can be funny as well. And there's something out there. You just got to look for it. That's it. That's it. And that's it for us for the night. Uh, we thank you for joining us. We thank you for spending this last 45 minutes with us and with life on the lighter side. And we'll probably do this again at some oh, point. Yeah time because the more I think about it, the more things I think about. Right, right. <laughs> that it put me at a place where I have laughed until I cried. Uh, so I thank you all. Thank you all for being with us. Thank you all who are in podcast country and YouTube yeah. country <laughs> who join us on a regular basis. And uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate you who are in other countries who come by and see us on Sunday evenings. We have a replay of this show on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. right here on ALH Broadcasting. So you can be sure to check us out again if you just feel the need to laugh a little bit more and think, yeah, well, what was that story she told? You know, and you can come back and listen at that time. Like Victoria said, make it a great week. You can make it a great week. Find something to make that makes you laugh and makes you feel good. And we we will be right back here. We're coming back next week. Yes, ladies, next yes, week. Yes, well, we'll yep. 7 p.m. right here. Uh, come on back. Come on back and join us. We, You never know. You never, ever know what's going to happen on Author Talk. It may be some unexpected laughter. Who can tell? We never know. We never yeah, know. That's right. right. That's it. <laughs> but join us next week. We'll be right back here and we'll be more than happy to welcome you and have you with us. So that's it for tonight. And hey, this is the best place to be on Sunday evenings at 7 p.m. Right. See you next week, everybody. Good night, ladies. Good, Good night. night. Good night, Bronze Girls. <laughs>